hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing this time it is a limited edition from glossy box and it's the grazia best of beauty 2022 so originally this box was on sale for 45 pounds i think at the moment it's 40 pounds when i was filming um i had a quick look and it was however i'm not sure when i'm going to put this video out because i'm doing a few in one day because i am so busy in the coming week that this is the only way i can do it um potentially you'll get a little bit more off if you're a glossy box subscriber although i'm not entirely sure i think when i got it i got five pounds off the contents of the box are worth 250 pounds according to glossy box so i've already taken the products out and there is a leaflet inside which gives a little bit of information on each of them and i've gone to the brand's websites as well where i can just to give you um a bit more so the first item in there is by Paula's Choice and it's the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is 118 mils. Glossy Box say it's got an RRP of £31 but it's currently shown as £34 from the brand's website. They say reveal flawless skin with our best selling leave-on exfoliant. This gentle lightweight fluid quickly exfoliates dead skin cells both on the surface and deep inside pores to feel smoother clearer more radiant looking skin and the key ingredients are salicylic acid this is a bha primarily an exfoliant and it helps to shed dead skin on the surface and inside the pore it's therefore effective for reducing breakouts and blackheads it also has green tea extract which possesses potent antioxidant and skin soothing properties and has impressive research in terms of its many benefits for skin including anti-aging properties also, methyl propandiol. This can enhance the absorption of ingredients such as salicylic acid and it also has hydrating properties that can leave a smooth, dewy finish on the skin. So this product's for combination skin, oily skin and to address any breakouts, blackheads, enlarged pores or redness that you might have. And to use it, it's a little bit like a toner. Um, you lightly soak a cotton pad and gently apply over the entire face and neck including the eye area but avoid eye lash line and eyelids do not rinse and they say at first apply every other day and note the skin's response then you can use up to twice daily for daytime use follow with a broad spectrum sunscreen rated at spf 30 or greater so i have had a go with it but only on my chin because to be honest that's the only really oily area on my face um, and it is prone to the odd blemish um, it doesn't have any smell it's just a liquid I'm not going to show you because it's literally just a clear watery consistency liquid um, it didn't cause any reaction on my chin but then things rarely do there I think there was a slight tingle maybe um, but nothing major now I happen to know that other people who have used salicylic acid um, products have had great results with skin blemish prone skin also i do have a little serum with it and every time i do get a spot i pop the serum on and literally it's gone within 24 hours normally so i do recommend it if you are someone who does suffer with oily or blemish prone skin this one i'm going to give to someone else though because it's not really going to get the use on me the next item is by Esper and it is the Refining Skin Polish. So Glossy Box say this is 25 mils and worth £10. Mine though is 15 mils but the value does sound reasonable so it might be a misprint on the size because full size version is 55 mil with an RRP of £32 and the full size is available on the brand's website at that price. They say a deeply cleansing, super fine exfoliator that leaves skin feeling refined and smooth. Spherical dia diatoma shush. No, that's sorry. Diatoma shush. I can't say that. Earth exfoliates to help clear pores, lift impurities, and balance an even tone, whilst nourishing damascena and shea butter soften skin, revealing a smooth and radiant complexion. Sorry, that's tickled me. That has. I don't know how I can't I've tried to put it in my usual break it down format but still couldn't do it so 
Use one to two times a week for normal skin or once a week for oily skin. Smooth over damp skin and massage lightly in circular movements then rinse. And it does say it's suitable for all skin types. So I was supposed to get this product in the Look Fantastic Singles Day box but I got the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cleanser instead which I was actually quite pleased about. Um, they do have, Espa does have another exfoliating product that I've had which is the Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser and I really really liked that so I was kind of interested to see what this one would be like in comparison. So I'll show you what it looks like. To be honest with you it's not quite right for me so it's like a creamy sort of formula but there are really really super fine sort of grains in there it didn't irritate my skin too much but I could feel it and it's just one that I know I won't probably rush to use not ahead of the other one that I've got from them there is a nice smell a nice clean sort of fragrance to it um quite spa like i guess um but yeah it's just not right for me so i'm afraid i'm going to be passing that one on as well I'm not doing too great at the moment but the ones that i put at the beginning are the ones that i'm probably not going to keep okay the next item is i think i need to go and wipe this on my hand i'll be back in a second now for the next item, in the leaflet it says you were supposed to get the 1-1 one -one Skin Clarity Beauty Dose which had an RRP of £115 and they were basically pill type supplements. And Glossy Box said acne or blemish prone skin is often the result of an internal imbalance which is why this product was formulated to detoxify and recolonise the gut with a smart combination of digestive enzymes and probiotics. Just bear me a minute, I just need to check something out. Sorry about that, there was just someone hovering outside, I could sense them. Anyway, instead I got 111 Skins The Clarity Concentrate. So this is a seven day treatment programme designed to clear the skin. And this is actually worth more at £125. And the brand says, loaded with the antibacterial powerhouse colloidal sulphur, this ultimate seven day clarifying treatment programme reduces the appearance of imperfections through a blend of active ingredients specifically formulated to address congested, blemished and oily skin. It also includes a dose of willow bark extract rich in BHA, beta hydroxy acid, to reduce inflammation as well as the formation and appearance of blackheads. Soothing microalgae extract works hard to promote cell turnover and skin healing alongside Cleome leaf extract which is known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. So I'll show you what it looks like and then tell you how to use it hopefully. So this slides off and there's a lovely little box inside. I mean it's packaged beautifully. This I think lifts up. She says, yeah, like that. So it's in his own little case. Um, some instructions there which you do need I think because if you look there are these little ampule things so each of these I think they're made of glass so you have to be careful when you break them and there's a little thing here to help do that so to use them you cleanse your skin thoroughly place the opener onto the ampule and break away from the body Dispense the solution into hands and apply onto face and neck, patting gently in an upward motion. And it says be sure to use the entire ampule, repeat day or night for seven days alongside your usual skincare routine. And there is this as well, which I think you can pour it into to make sure you get everything, every last drop out of it, I think, was the sort of idea behind that. But because I don't want to try it out because obviously it would be such a waste of an amazing supposedly I don't know I've never used it but an amazing product to use on me um, so I'm going to find somebody who will really like that and benefit from it and I think I've got someone in mind that I do need just to check so there you go great product especially if you're prone to blemish uh, blemishes and oily skin again okay the next item is by the body shop 
and is the Idle Voice sheet mask and this is a full size with an RRP of £6 and is available on the brand's website at that price. And they say made with 99% ingredients from natural origin, our rejuvenating mask pampers your skin and leaves you with a fresh faced glow in just 15 minutes. We've now enriched every mask with double the concentration of Idlevice, which is naturally and rather uniquely strengthened with Leon Topodic acid known for its antioxidant properties. We've enriched our vegan serum with natural origin peptides too, just for good measure. Derived from rice, peptides, te peptides are known to help maintain the skin's natural moisture barrier. After one use, your skin is 83.3% more hydrated and is left feeling fresher, smoother and looking bouncier and healthier. So I've tried this out today and it was a nice mask to use. It does smell quite pleasant. Yeah, fresh, fresh smell. Um, quite sweet. Smells like there's something in there, if you know what I mean. So went on. Love the mask actually was really nice it just looks like a normal mask there's no point in getting it out but it fitted really well um, and it did feel nice while it was on there were no sort of problems nothing reacted badly in my skin and when I took it off and there was loads of serum left to pat into it into my skin and it felt really nice afterwards so I like that I like using a sheet mask they're one of my favorite things to get in a box so I was very pleased with that the next item is by Dr Dennis Gross and it's the all physical lightweight wrinkle defense SPF 30 I don't know whether it is gross you know that's how I say it but thinking about it it might have a different sort of way to say it so apologies if that's the case this is 50 mils and has an RRP at £46 and it's available from various suppliers at that price. Essential daily sun and ageing protection with sheer application and weightless hydration, powered by transparent zinc oxide and antioxidant rich bearberry, sea buckthorn, lo, li, lingonberry and ferulic acid to defend against harmful UVA, UVB rays pollution and blue light emitted from phones and computer screens helping to prevent fine lines and wrinkles it's got an oil free non greasy formula for long lasting hydration without clogging pores and high performance spf protection without the use of chemical uv filters it's got a blendable formula which primes skin for seamless makeup application and it's fragrance free so to use it, you use it in the morning as the final step in your skincare routine after moisturiser and 15 minutes before sun exp exposure. Reapply every two hours. So with this one, I have tried it out today. I tried it out yesterday as well um, and today and I really do rather like it. So I'll show you what it's like, mainly because it does blend so beautifully. This is what it looks like. It's got one of those interesting little plasticky bunny tops as well which I quite like and that's the tubing so that's the product itself and it just blends in oh I've got a bit of exfoliant I can still feel under there so I don't really want to waste this but I'll put it on my arm as well so there we go and it does blend in really nicely and it feels lovely on the skin it does feel like a, a kind of a moisturizer as well almost like a primer I did use a primer too though um, but it's under my makeup it it went beautifully so I really like that one it's always nice to find a nice sun um, lotion that does do really really well under makeup and that one did did feel like it was slightly you know when you put it in your skin looks slightly paler I did think that about it but it didn't sort of last once it had soaked in it was fine okay the next item now this was a couple of little sachets by Bumble and Bumble there we go and it's the hairdresser's invisible oil shampoo and conditioner and they're just samples if you wanted to try them out you can get 60 mils from the brand's website for 11 pounds each 
A blend of six feather light oils helps soften, silk and tame, defrizz, detangle and protect against breakage without weighing hair down. Key ingredients for both the products are coconut oil, argan oil, macadamia nut oil, sweet almond oil, safflower seed oil and grape seed oil. So I've tried both of these out today. Now I actually had a um, hair mask, the invisible oil hair mask in another box a while ago, I think, which did need to be used up. So I used the three items together and I was really pleased about that because I've been meaning to use the mask again. And together they worked really well. Now the shampoo I used as my second stage shampoo and to be honest there was only enough in that just for one sort of go and it as a second stage shampoo it lathered up beautifully it smells gorgeous oh, absolutely gorgeous perfumey beautiful smelling um as do most of the bumble and bumble products that i've tried the it didn't leave my hair as soft as some shampoos do so it had sort of two out of three ticks for me as far as shampoos are concerned the conditioner I use after the mask, so my hair is already quite soft through the mask, but the conditioner softened it up even more. So again, beautiful, beautiful smell, felt lovely and silky in the hair and afterwards my hair felt great. So I'm really, really pleased with those three as a combination were fabulous. Okay, the next item is by Pixie. So it's a makeup mist, makeup fixing mist. It's a deluxe mini at 30 mils and it's worth eight pounds. A full size is 80 mils with an RRP of 16 pounds. And the full size version is available on the brand's website at that price. They say this product prolongs makeup wear and keeps it from moving, melting and settling into fine lines or pores. The rose water and green tea infused formula comforts, protects and balances skin for a fresh face. Extends and refreshes makeup, it hydrates and balances. It sets makeup, adds a soft focus finish, and it's suitable for all skin types. So basically, you put it on, you put it on after makeup to set and hydrate. Close your eyes, hold 15 centimeters from face, mist four times, focusing on T zone and cheeks, avoiding eye area. You can also refresh makeup during the day, and you can correct over powdering by misting face and patting off excess. You can also suggest putting it directly onto a makeup brush and apply products as usual to prolong their wear. I've never tried that one out. So I have got this one on today. It is an interesting spray actually because it's quite fine, but you do have to hold it a fair distance away, I found. If it was too close, it did that thing where it just collects in one area and it feels a little bit wet so I'm going to try it now I'll probably put a funny face so just ignore that Ooh. yeah oh it's got a smell it's got a smell to it I haven't noticed that before yeah there's a definite smell to it. it's kind of gone in my eye there um so yeah it does feel like it's collecting in certain areas rather than on the whole face but that's because you're supposed to do that thing, which I always forget to do. So I'm going to try that again, actually. <laughs> Sorry. It just went on my forehead then. So it's probably me applying it wrong, but it's it seems nice enough. And I think if I held it a little bit further away and did what you're supposed to do, it should be fine. OK, I can just feel it here now. Right. The next item is by Mina. And it is the Colour Pen Liquid Eyeliner in Brown in shade 575 on the brand's website. You can get it for £13 from them. Glossy Box had the RRP as £13.95, so it's not far off. And the brand says this is for 14 hours long wearing, has a sleek and precise tip that will make eyeliner applications stress free. So this is one of the first eyeliners I ever had in a beauty box and I really, really loved it. Now I had the a different Mina eyeliner recently. I think it's the Look Fantastic December box. It was literally really, really recently, which I found was very highly pigmented and was quite a little bit too much for me to apply. 
this is a slightly different one that one was the 24 hour one i think and this one is just the um one that's 14 hours so i've given it a go i think it is still a little bit too liquidy at the moment for me i need to keep using it until it's sort of i get used to it really but it was nice enough and i like the color it's not it is brown it still looks quite dark but it is a nice colour, I think, to use. And it's a little bit easier if you do make a mistake when they're brown. It's a little bit easier to correct. So I have got it on today. I'll come in a bit closer. I'm not sure whether you'll see it very well. but So. As I say, I love, I love the tip. So the tip and these, it's amazing. The other one was as well. Um, it, because you can do sort of thin ones and you can do thick strokes it's really really nice to use I just think I need to relearn how to use this one it's the first time I've used it today so I didn't practice which I probably should have done but I do like it um, as far as the look fantastic box is concerned I have fil filmed that I'm not sure whether that will come out after this or before I've absolutely no idea I'm filming quite a few because I'm so busy in the next week that it's the only way I can do it. I think I might have already said that or I said it in another video. Okay, so I am happy with that one by the way. It lasted ages as well the first time I had it. Right, stop talking, get on. Uh, the next item is by Laura Mercia and is the Caviar Volume Mas Mascara. This is a deluxe mini at 3ml and worth £5.75. Glossy Box says that full size would be 12 mils with an RRP of £22 and it is available from various suppliers, although it generally seems to be priced around £23 for the larger size version. This thickening mascara offers intense volume, a full panoramic look and irresistible soft touch lashes as it glides effortlessly to create high impact volume and glossy intensity in one bold stroke. It coats lashes from root to tip with rich nourishing and hydrating conditioners that prevent dryness and hardening with long lasting all day wear. So I've tried this out now filming today two to three boxes I'm not sure how many I'm going to get through but I've already done one which was the ASOS box the Holy Grails one and I explained in that that I used the mascara that I was using from there which was Rimmel on this eye and this one on this eye I have since then coated this one with this product as well I don't know whether that really helps or not to show what it's like because it's kind of a bit cheating isn't it because there's a different one underneath that's what the brush for this looks like. I think the brush on the full size version does look slightly different. Um, this is what my eyes look like. So this was the one that's just got that product on. Although it is the eye that I always have problems making it look nice. This one always looks nicer mascara wise and this one never seems to go quite the way I want it to. Um, and here you go. So that's the one that it's on here and that's the fine I've got two coats of the Rimmel and then one coat of that I know it's three coats it's a bit much but there you go so it's a nice enough one in all honesty I preferred the Rimmel one and it's a bit cheaper I think as well but it's nice enough it's okay right the next item is and this is the last item in the box and it's by Project Lip and it's the Plump and Gloss and this is full size with an RRP of £15 and it is available from the brand's website at that price so I think you get a choice of two shades in the box with this one there's this one which is like a sort of a bronzy looking one and the other one which looks a little bit pinker from the website from the brand's website anyway that's what this one looks like. And they say the brand says accelerate your plump and ignite the shine with a swipe of Project Lips Plump and Gloss. Our innovative formula combines powerful lip plumping ingredients that deliver a cushiony smooth glaze and 3D high shine. Infused with vitamin E and collagen actives, the addictive tingling sensation will give an enviable power pout. And they do claim that it's scientifically proven to add volume to lips when used for 28 days. And to use it, you glide it over your lips, then press to st 
stimulate the tingle and plumping actives. So I have actually got this on already over another lipstick, but I'm going to pause and pop it on again so you can see it um, fresh. So here you go, that actually made my eyes water because I sort of pressed it together, my lips tingled, which they did earlier, and my tongue as well. And then I sort of had a bit of a coughing fit. So <clears throat> I think something's caught down the back of my throat. This is what the applicator looks like. And on the back of my hand, that's what the colour looks like on the back of my hand. So it's kind of quite sheer. And I think it looks sheer on the lips as well. It's the kind of colour that will go with quite a few of my lipsticks, so it does suit me quite well. As I say, it's a little bit tingly, um, maybe a little bit, almost like you've eaten chilli or something like that. <clears throat> and like, it's affecting the back of my throat like that as well. Didn't do that earlier, I think that's just a one-off. Okay, that is the end of the box. So what do you think? So for me, it's kind of like the, a brilliant box if you've got blemish prone skin it's absolutely fantastic for that because you get your pores choice um, exfoliant which is perfect for blemish prone skin um, you get the esper refining skin polish as well the 111 skin ampules the seven day sort of treatment which sounds amazing if it is as good as it says it is so those products i think are really good for blemish prone skin and then you of course you get your um spf as well that you could use alongside that because you must use an spf if you're using those sorts of exfoliating products then you get your body shop face mask which i always love a sheet mask and it's a nice one to use you get your bumble and bumble sachets okay that's just one use well half of a use for the shampoo for me but still very nice to try great smells love bumble and bumble um then you get your pick i'm just trying to remember now but I, i'm gonna miss something out pixie which i think i just need to learn how to put it on properly um you get your mascara which is, it's okay it's nice enough you get the eyeliner which i do really like that one i'm going to definitely practice a bit more with that to get it perfect and then the lip plumping gloss which i think that's everything and as usual excuse me if i've missed something out so it is a decent box i think it still is on sale it is at the time of filming but obviously because i'm doing a few at a time i can't guarantee i did put it on my community page at one point though so hopefully everybody's seen um that it's out there hope you enjoyed the video i'll be doing another one after this and then putting them out over the next week because i just haven't got time to film then so take lots of care of yourself sending you lots and lots and lots of positive vibes and hope to see you soon bye bye